Welcome to Tech Glimpse X. So today we are going to talk about the future of space based internet connecting the globe from orbit. Imagine a world where every corner of the globe has access to high speed internet no matter how remote. From bustling metropolises to the most isolated villages. A new frontier is opening in connectivity and it's happening above our heads in space. Welcome to the era of space-based internet. So, space-based internet, also known as satellite internet, uses constellations of satellites in orbit to beam internet connectivity directly to users on the ground. Unlike the traditional methods, that rely on cables and ground-based towers, this technology bypasses geographical limitations entirely. Why is this revolutionary? Traditional infrastructure struggles to reach rural areas, mountain regions and disaster zones. With space-based internet, these barriers are irrelevant, but how does it work? To understand, we need to dive into the architecture behind the system. So now we will talk about the architecture of space-based internet. There are three components in space-based internet systems. The satellites, the ground stations and the user terminals. Let's start with the satellites. Most modern systems use low orbit satellites or LEOs. These orbits at altitudes between 500 and 2000 km above the Earth. Unlike traditional geostationary satellites at 36,000 km, LEOs have significantly low latency, making them suitable for real-time applications like video calls and gaming. However, there's trade-off. Leo LEO satellites cover smaller areas due to their proximity to Earth. To ensure global coverage, companies deploy large constellations for insurance. Starlink plans to have 42,000 satellites in orbit, creating a mesh network. Next, we have ground stations. These serve as the backbone connecting satellites to the internet backbone and routing data to user terminals. Advanced tracking and frequency management systems are critical here as LEO satellites move quickly and frequently change their position relative to the ground. Finally, the user terminals compact faced array antennas that can track satellites as they move. These devices communicate with satellites in real time, making setup straightforward for users. So what are the challenges in space-based internet? While potential is immense, space-based internet is not without its challenges. Let's explore some of the most pressing ones. First is orbital debris. With thousands of satellites in orbit, the risk of collision increases dramatically. Debris from even a small collision can pose threats to other satellites, a phenomenon known as the Kessler syndrome. Second, spectrum management. Radio frequencies are finite and heavily regulated. Companies must navigate international agreements and avoid interference with existing communication systems. Third, power and maintenance. LEO satellites have limited lifespans, often around five years, and replacing them requires regular launches. This adds to operational costs and environmental concerns. Fourth one is affordability. While companies aim to make services affordable, initial costs can be high for end users, especially in low-income regions. 
so the key players in the space based internet race the first one is starlink spacex starlink developed by spacex is currently the most mature space based internet system with over 4000 satellites already launched into low earth orbit each starlink satellite weighs roughly 260 kg and is designed to operate at altitudes ranging from 340 km to 1200 km these satellites are equipped with high throughput antennas beam forming technology and laser links allowing them to communicate directly with one another in a mesh network minimizing the reliance on ground station starlink operates in co band and ka band frequencies for data transmission these bands are ideal because they provide high bandwidth but they also require efficient spectrum management to avoid interference with the use of phased array antennas starlink satellites can dynamically adjust their communication beams improving both speed and signal reliability moreover spacex has developed its own rocket technology notably the falcon 9 which allows for more frequent and cost effective launches starlink satellite network is designed to offer low latency connections with speeds ranging from 50 to 150 mbps and potentially much higher as the constellation grows however latency can vary depending on the user's location as well as atmospheric conditions and the satellite's current position relative to the ground station the second one is amazon kuiper amazon's project kuiper aims to launch over 3200 satellites into leo providing broadband internet access to unsought and undeserved communities worldwide kuiper plans to use a phased array of high throughput satellites with advanced beam forming technology to deliver high speed connectivity one of the amazon's key differentiator is its integration with its own cloud infrastructure amazon web services aws by leveraging aws global data center network and utilizing edge computing solutions project kuiper can provide low latency high bandwidth services that are optimized for applications like iot remote surveillance and enterprise communication kuiper satellites will use both ka band and ku band spectrum ensuring redundancy and resilience in case of atmospheric interference to avoid signal congestion kuiper is collaborating with other companies and regulatory bodies to ensure coordinated spectrum use Amazon has also invested in technology to reduce the cost of satellite production and launches by optimizing satellite payloads and leveraging reusable rocket technology. The third is OneWeb, reliable internet to remote regions, especially in the Arctic and desert areas. The company is deploying a network of 648 LEO satellites. that will operate at altitudes between 1000 and 1200 km one web satellites are equipped with multiple antennas operating across different frequency bands including the ku band ensuring high capacity and scalability the system uses frequency reuse technology allowing the same spectrum to be used multiple times without interference Each satellite in one web's constellation will be interlinked via optical inter-satellite links, providing a fast mesh network that reduces reliance on ground stations for inter-satellite communication. One web system is designed to serve enterprise customers, governments, and mobile network operators by providing secure. 
high throughput low latency connections their satellites feature on board processors that can automatically optimize data routing and adjust to the shifting needs to global users making the network flexible and adaptable the fourth one is telesat telesat a canadian satellite operator is developing the light speed network a global leo constellation decide to provide high bandwidth services for enterprises governments and military operations telesats satellites will operate at altitudes approximately 1000 to 1200 km with a unique emphasis on high bandwidth low latency services these satellites are designed for heavy duty applications like video conferencing cloud computing and military communications with a special focus on providing solutions in remote and harsh environments the light speed network will leverage optical inter satellite links to provide fast reliable connectivity between satellites in orbit these laser links will significantly reduce the need for also innovating in the area of advanced satellite propulsion systems ensuring that their constellation can be maintained efficiently over time so the future of space based internet the future of space based internet looks promising but will likely involve in several ways the first is integration with 5g leo satellites can complement 5g networks providing connectivity in areas where terrestrial infrastructure is impractical second is ai and automation artificial intelligence will play a crucial role in managing satellite constellations optimizing data routing and preventing collisions the third is global regulation international bodies will need to establish unified regulations to manage orbital traffic and spectrum allocation the fourth is energy efficiency new technologies like solar electric propulsion and green fuels could reduce the environmental impact of launches so space based internet is not just about technology it's about bridging divides and empowering communities from enabling telemedicine in remote villages to connecting students to online education its potential is limitless the sky is no longer the limit it's the beginning until next time keep exploring keep innovating and stay curious see you soon guys